Good morning, good morning, good morning, Rose Petals. How you guys doing? I am driving to work and it is a lot, a lot of traffic. And I got the download. You know what the download is today? It's talking about real life boogeymen. I gotta say boogeymen, but um, boogie woman is included in that. Real life nightmare people that comes into your life. What does that look like? real life boogeyman we just uh had halloween um in america anyway i don't know about other countries they just celebrated halloween and there's a lot of boogeymen actors people basically displaying their ul ulterior personalities um in their costumes that they wear their fantasy in their brains you know what i mean and um but there's real life boogeymen just like that. People that wear masks each and every day, right? Um, people leave their children uh, with people that they think because they have smiles on their faces, pretty smiles, real life boogeymen. But you don't know that when that door closed poof, and you are gone out of your child's presence, the want to slap with them, get them beaten, and spit pun and abuse you will not believe this is why i suggest that if you have people in your home um watching your children that you have cameras in your house real life stuff you know real life boogeyman you know no longer do you it just it's just like freddy cougar right that horrible horrible movie people like it but for me i don't like it um a lot of people sit there and let their kids watch that and the kids get nightmare and everything. But in real life, you got real life nightmare people like that in your life, you know? I'll never forget one day I left my um, my daughter with a friend of mine and her, her husband. Um, kind of had like a one leg, right? Was like, a, when, I, when I went to drop something off to my daughter, my daughter said, Oh, he was playing hide and go seek. And turning off the lights honey i said go upstairs and pack your stuff and let's go now real life boogeyman i don't know if i would have left my daughter what would have happened but i was like let's go now okay um those smiles is mask sometimes sometimes not everybody that smile because you got people that got real genuine Hearts. All I'm saying is to watch the smiles because behind the smiles sometimes is real life boogeyman and ask yourself how how um do you really know that person that is watching your child? Do you really know your husband or your wife? Do you really, really, really know them? Because you got a lot of great pretenders out here. You know what I mean? Um, it's like everything is highlighted now. I don't know if to contribute factor is because of the internet and everybody's eyes is being open or I've always say the big C word open everybody's eyes I never seen so much mental health in my life but it's just like a lot of things going on in the world you know what I mean a lot of pretense a lot of con man and con woman a lot of fake fake relationships like I told you guys, I, I be around a lot of men, right? <laughs> it's so funny. That's why I will never stop doing uh, my car chronicles, my Uber chronicles. I don't do it um, as often as I should. But whenever I'm in um, an Uber and I feel like uh, the driver want to talk, I always, whether it's a man or a woman, like to hear their side, especially like if they're married or not married, the relationship. Do you like this person that you're with? Because... Uh, the answer for me is always, they always say no. They always say no. If I could do it again, I would do it differently. You know, in hindsight, sometimes you start out when you're young and you're so in love with this particular person. And then later on in life, things change, you know, for some people. But instead of telling your partner that things change, you, you continue pretending and being phony and you can't. St this is very dangerous, by the way. I'm very leery of people like that because these people are around you smiling every day and they're cooking your food, they're in your space, and that is very, very dangerous. 
um, please stop to just be quiet. Watch the patterns around you with the people in your circle. They don't have to say anything. Just watch their actions and you're gonna see. And when, when they show you who they are and show you how they treat you and mistreat you, they're never there for you, but you're running for them. You're always pleasing and shaking and running for them. And they're never in your corner. Not like they don't grind the way you grind for them. Those are the people you need to be careful of. I'm, I'm always talking about using the example of the little baby. The little baby. Oh, I'm not even, I'm not even over the bridge yet. It's a lot of traffic this morning. This is why I said, forget about the words and watch the action because even the little, little, little baby have that vibe, can feel that vibe, that natural vibe of the person that's holding them. They get nervous just from the spirit of the person. And that's the same, that baby's feeling the nervousness and the antennas going up in that baby to make the baby, you know, it's the same way you feel when somebody with bad spirit come, come around you. That's the same way you feel when toxic people with bad spirit come around you. Watch the spirit of the people around you. When you feel like that, don't question it. It is so correct, guys. It's just so correct. I don't care if it's your auntie, your mother, your whoever. Test the spirit by the spirit. Believe it. The fruit of the spirit, kindness, joy, love, patience. Um, beautiful, just beautiful stuff. The seventh fruit of the spirit, guys. I can't remember it all, but it's always kindness. You know? It's always kindness and joy and anything that have to do with love, real authentic love. Okay? You got bad fruits and good fruits. Bad fruits, walking with the evil one, doing evil things, hate, secrecy, uh, a lot of secrets. You know? Envy, jealousy, bad fruits. It's a lot of traffic. Real life boogeyman, man. Even like the people driving. Real life boogeyman. I'm watching them right now. I gotta get away from this man. You ever driving, guys, and people just don't know how to... Come on, are you driving? You scared? Oh my God. He's scared of... That's why your car is messed up like that. That's crazy how people don't know how to drive. Oh my goodness. This man, he got his car scratched up. You put your signal on to go over and forget about it. This one is scared. Scared. Sorry, guys. I'm just like, it's crazy. When you're trying to go, you know, go where you, get where you're going safe and sound, and you got people on the road that real life boogeyman, um, you put your signal on one and they just push down. You're giving them respect. That's what I'm saying. You're giving them respect because some people. They drive and they don't have the um, the signals on. They don't use signals and they just go over. It's so disrespectful. Though that's like some of the ways you can see disrespectful people. You know, they so disrespect. They disrespect themselves. They disrespect um, others. If they don't respect themselves, they're not gonna respect you. I don't like to be around people like that. I call them real life boogeymen. They're, they're everywhere. I, I just want to talk about this for a little while. It's just like, even like the police and people in authority, right? When they come to you and deal with you like a human being, not because they have um, their suits on or their clothes on. That's what I'm saying, real life boogeymen. They have on their attire, right? But what about the attire of your spirit, okay? If your spirit is right and you got the fruits in you, the good fruits, you can tell if they have the good fruit or the bad fruits. Working with the evil one, remember, it's two spirit. It's God and the evil one, okay? So the thing about it is, whether they have their uniform on or not, that's just nothing. You're going to tell them by the fruit of their spirit because even if you're talking to them with respect and they're talking down to you just because they have on um, their uniform, but a, a person living in their authentic self, whether they have their uniform, it's just who they are. Whether they have their uniform or not, 
they're going to be mean. If they're a mean-spirited person, they're going to be mean. Mean to their kids, mean to their wives, mean to their bosses, just mean all over, mean to society. This is who they are. They are horrible individuals. Horrible. All right? Because if you have love inside of you, you're going to respect people. You are going to respect. You're not going to disrespect people. You're not going to try to cheat people, lie to people. You know what I'm saying? Maliciously lie to people, playing games. And um, how could you trust somebody that that is a liar? How can you trust them? I don't want a lying friend. I don't. You have people that are pathological liars that they believe their lies so much that they could pass lie detector tests. Easy. They could pass them. You know? Uh, I want to talk about, I don't know this YouTuber name. It's a, it's a, I know his wife's name starts with a T. I, I glance through these channels every now and then. But he recently had surgery, right? And um, he was coming on here. That's what I'm saying. Real life boogeyman. You, what you see with your natural eyes is a lie sometimes. It's all lies. You got people in a relationship that act like they're having the best relationship. But in reality, it's a relationship from hell. From real, real hell. So let me tell you about this, this particular YouTube. I'm going to talk about two cases that I find very interesting. That same one that I'm talking about with the man that he recently just had surgery. I can't, I just glance at his channel every now and then when, I, when he pops up. I don't listen to him very much. <laughs> He's a handsome guy. Um, his wife is coming on now saying that he's pretending and she's tired of pretending because he's abusing her. Now, when the, the, the funny thing about abusive relationship, people looking on the outside, they don't know who to who to believe because the abuser always sound convincing and sometimes the victim could look like they're lying because people want to know if he's so this or that or she so this or that. Why did you stay? Abusers are real life life boogeyman because they could act very, very well, very, very well. And remember, abusers could be man or, or uh, man or woman. They could act very, very well. That's one of their characteristic traits. Um, they're very, very good con artists. So this particular guy had surgery. They said that since he had the surgery, he never been the same. <laughs> um, and now they're getting a divorce. And okay, it's okay. You're getting a divorce, no problem. You don't have to disrespect your wife. You don't have to disrespect. First of all, you got kids together. I don't understand, like... Uh, this toxic relationship like people are not thinking about the children you know and in, in these relationships what are you teaching your daughters your attitude as a man is teaching your daughter how she should be treated later on in life and your attitude as a mom your kids are also looking at you okay um so now, now they're both going online and, and this this internet thing is a, something else Anybody could go on their phones and just start recording and they're not thinking about the long-term effect of what they're doing. So anyway, he's coming online, disrespecting his daughter, talking to this random girl saying, um, <clears throat> talking to his wife through the, through, the, through the lens and he's saying, um, oh, she got a big fat ass more than you and um, just silly things like a little kid. This is a grown man, by the way. And then she's coming on telling her truth, you know? It just looks so dysfunctional. One on one video that I seen seen that she was doing alive, um, and the kids came in the room hugging her. You know what I mean? And you guys gotta remember when you are being abused or you're in a toxic relationship, that the kids are in the in the center of it. A lot of kids go hiding um, under their bed, nervous in their rooms, crying committing suicide, cutting themselves, all type of things because the mother and the father can't get it together. And we're supposed to be their example. You know, people said, I see um, AJ Calloway, um, he's now starting a conversation to see how we can get out of these generational curses uh, as a whole, as a whole in the black community because it's really sickening and um, getting very, very dysfunctional. I really don't think people should be in relationships 
uh, until they get some help and learn about emotional intelligence, learn how to communicate effectively. Um, it's really bad out here. For me, relationships are scary right now. Back away, I push away from the table because there's a lot of people. Uh, the only thing that they want from relationship is sex. And when I say that, that's all they have to offer because everything else is, uh, is very, 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 very unhealthy. And even the sex is unhealthy because if you're sleeping around, I mean, I'm protected. You're changing my PhD. Uh, you're bringing me spiritual STDs and regular STDs. You're not checking on yourself. So when, when, when somebody get an STD, each one is blaming the other one. And sometimes the person that uh, is not sleeping around, um, the abuser usually blame for the STD. Whenever you're in a, a domestic violence uh, abusive relationship and you get out, you need to go to the doctor and get a full checkup, a full checkup. Everything, stress test, everything. Because these things affect your health because you're stressed, okay? Uh, the, the next relationship I want to talk about is uh, Blueface. Um, that beautiful young lady, what's her name, Christina, whatever. I love her. I just watch. I really love her. People might say, oh, why do you love her? I love her because I can see, I can see the woman in her that she's trying to become if she had a fighting chance. Remember, the background of her history, she's, I think she's very strong. I think she should put down the alcohol and once she, right now she's going on a lot of shoots and doing a lot of different things and I, pr I pray for that young lady because I see, um, I see my abusive toxic relationship in her. I see who she can become. You know what I mean? Once, <clears throat> once you ever dealt with the boogeyman or the boogie woman, you'll know what I'm talking about. She has a trauma bond, a soul tie, and she also have, um, um, oh God, when I, when I come back to this one, she has this connection with him. <clears throat> Forgot the syndrome. If somebody know, please put it down in here. She has a toxic thing going on with him. It's too bad because I, I'm, 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 I was hoping that they both would get help, but they have to separate individually. And perhaps maybe one day they'll get back together. But right now it's very toxic. And I can see somebody's gonna get seriously hurt. The other day she tried to um, to jump out, allegedly, um, out of a car, and then she revived the story. So, you know, it's just like a lot of toxicity going on, real life boogeyman. That's a boogeyman experience right there. You know, one minute they're kissing and loving. And then, and then I seen a revenge video going around, allegedly, um, about her. Um, whoever leaked that video, that's disgusting. And uh, revenge porn, guys, it's a crime. <clears throat> it's a crime. So you could you could bring up criminal charges to the person that do that to you. If your videos, I don't I don't do sex videos with anyone. I'm not a porn star. Star. All right. So when you do things, guys, remember the repercussion behind it. Yeah, you might want to be a porn star in your bedroom, but. Whoever have the video have the power, so they think. But don't use that power that you think you have, that fake power, and go and leak that video to the public because that person can bring up serious criminal charges um, against you for doing that. Uh, I didn't even do I, I didn't even do a porn story with my husband to each his own. Nah, negative. Not knowingly, anyway. Not knowingly. You know, people, that's another thing, a real life boogeyman. People hide these cameras in their closet. Uh, you don't know they have cameras in their house when you go sleep with them. And they make videos um, of, of you and you don't know. These are things that people don't think about because in the moment, oh, your antennas is hot and bothered. You just want to get cooled down, you know? But you need to think. Even when you get hot and bothered to the, to the point of explosion, you got to think. You might be at the point of explosion and have to push that person away because you've seen a red flag flying real high. Whatever the red flag is, it's okay. All right? Follow your intuition, guys. That's all I'm saying. When I come on here to do my videos, guys, I just let the download come. 
I know I talked about many things, but this is what's going on in society right now. You know, a lot of us are sick, but we won't look in the mirror. We won't take time to look in the mirror. Even like, uh, I'm going to say it, guys. Even with Ye, right? The things he's saying, there's truth in what he's saying, but people turn a blind eye. And we all know it's true, but we turn a blind eye. But now, everybody is coming up to speak. You should, this is America, you should have freedom of speech. What he was saying was he was targeting the music industry and the, and the people in higher power, but he used our whole race um, as his example. He's, he was wrong, he should have never did that. But we understand clearly what he's saying. Do I agree with everything that Kanye West say, says? No, I think he's very emotional. Um, and I think he says what he says and then he feels sorry about it later on. But I do think that a lot of things that he say, um, I want to say is bravery, very brave, you know? And now that he said what he said, I'm glad because the conversation needs to be had, okay? The conversation needs to be had. Um, even in my building, um, I have a Jewish landlord and it's like slum lords you know what i'm saying when you call them uh they treat you so bad you always have to call 311 because they don't do anything about it um even just a couple days ago i had to really tell them listen i don't get wealthy i don't get none of that stuff and um every time people call you it's like you got to pull teeth but when it's time for the only time the landlord call you is when he want his rent money that's it. Other than that, when he get that green, um, he know you. When he's not getting the green, he treats you like crap. And I don't know about you guys, but I don't appreciate being treated like crap. Okay? That's the gist of it. <sighs> Please leave your comment. Um, I, first of all, we all should be one. It shouldn't be black, white. It shouldn't be like that, but... That's the way the world's set up, but when people know that we all, when we believe, we believe blood, right? We believe blood, and, and this is the same color, okay? When we die, we don't go, um, oh, don't, I don't want you over here, I don't want you over here. We all go into the same place, in the grave, okay? So while we're here for the, for the little time that we have on earth, we need to treat each other better and have a little humanity and stop being robots. You know, people can't even look you in your eyes now. They do not look you in your eyes anymore. They're so soulless. 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 They don't look you in your eyes. Uh, you don't got good customer service anymore. People are like robots. Come, listen, I got to go, honey. Drive the car. They don't look you in your eyes. People are on their phone when they driving. That's another thing. Robots. Robots, honey. They're walking on the street. Um, when they're walking on the street, guys, what's wrong with this guy? Something is wrong with his car? Put your hazard light on and something is wrong with your car, guys. I cannot, I cannot read your mind. I don't know what's going on, but apparently something is wrong with his car. Put your hazard light on. I don't know. It's like these days, it's either somebody, you ever, you ever been out in a crowd and one person make a move and then everybody moves, it's like everybody's stuck, stuck in their thinking. Sometimes you got to purge yourself off of these internet, off of the phone, off of the game, off of all this stuff. I'm going around this guy right here, this, this guy's, he's on, I'm going to tell him too, he's on his phone. Are you driving? Yo, you driving or you on your phone, Poppy? What's wrong with you? Yeah, that's crazy. He's like actually on his phone. Come on. People are robots out here. Don't be a robot, guys. Be an actual real life human being. It's very hard to find beautiful human beings these days. Everybody's pretending and it's just gross. Anyway, this video has, has been long enough. Do me a favor, guys. Like, share, whatever. 
my my videos are authentic. This is this is me. All right. It can't be nobody else but myself. Guys, have a great day. Please comment, like, and share.